Hello and welcome to uh, another short video uh, looking at radians and this time we're going to look a little bit about how they are used uh, in the context of some basic uh, circle ideas. So we uh, want to look at the arc length and the area of a sector. So the arc length being being that distance there uh, and the area is a bit of shaded in here. Uh, and I just like to comment that a sector is is that if you've got a circle, the sector is the bit that is is, is the, that's a sector. Okay, this bit here. Don't get me confused. That there is a segment. Okay, and the way to remember it is that sector has a radius, and the word sector has an R in it. Okay. So don't get confused between a sector and a segment. This is the sector. Right. Um, so we learned that the basic definition of a radian is taken by looking at the arc length S, the radius R, and the angle size theta, which is measured in radians. And the definition of that is equal to the arc length divided by the radius. So therefore if we know the value of the angle in radians, then with some very simple rearrangement of this equation we can get a formula for the arc length S and it's simply this arc length S equals R theta just by uh, changing the size of that. So if we know the radius and we know the angle in radians, it must be in radians, then we can quite easily get the arc length. Uh, by a similar sort of thinking, if we think about the area of a, of a sector, let's take a look at a, a, a circle here, we want to find the area of that bit there. Well now we know that um, it's got an angle size of theta, it's got a radius of r, and it's got an arc length of S. Now, the way you think of it is that that, that sector is, theta, is whatever theta is divided by the whole circle. If it was degrees, it would be theta over 360. But it's not degrees, it's radians. So the, um, that fraction of the circle, the fraction of the circle, is just uh, theta over 2 pi. 2 pi radians is the whole circle. So if that's the fraction, if we, if we multiply that by the area of the whole circle, we'll get the area of the, of, of the sector we're after. So the area of the sector is equal to that. Uh, times the area of the circle, and the area of the circle we should know is pi r squared. So by doing a bit of cancellation we can cancel out the, the pi there, and we basically get uh, theta r squared over 2, but we tend to write it as uh, a half r squared theta, and that's the area of the sector uh, which has angle size theta. Right, so we have a couple of equations now, and um, let's see if we can combine them uh, in a little example. So let's take um, a sector of a circle here, and we'll give it a radius of 2.3 centimeters, and an angle of 70 degrees. 70 degrees. Now, the first thing we have to realise is that all our calculations in this segment, are, in this topic, are based on radians. So I'm not liking the fact that it's degrees. We want to find the arc length and the area of the sector. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert that 70 degrees two radians. So I know that um, two pi radians mm -hmm. is 360 degrees and uh, that means that pi radians is 180 degrees 
that means that one degree is pi divided by 180 uh, therefore 70 degrees is just this here times 70 uh, which I get has been 1.22 radians now if you ever think about that we should know that one radian is about 57 degrees so 70 is a little bit more than that so in radians it should be a little bit more than one and that's fine so it's 1.22 is the number of uh, radians so let's make that one point two two that's better okay so uh under equations the arc length s equals r theta and the area is a half r squared theta we've got r we've got theta nothing can stop us now so s equals 2.3 times 1.2 so the arc length is 2.806 centimetres and the area is a half times 2.3 squared times 1.22 which is 3.23 centimeters squared. So there are some very basic calculations using radians.